We're desensitized, but it's better than reading. Yeah, right? <laughs> Watching clips like that, reading. Somebody has to stand. Reading is for morons. Yep, I said it. Somebody has to represent the illiterate because they can't piece sentences together. All right? Reading is for morons. Let me explain. For 2.5 million years, <clears throat> we have been hardwired and adapted to relate to each other uh, neurologically, like building neural networks through human interaction, through like auditorily, facial expressions, body language. That's how we've developed profound neural networks to relate to each other uh, for 2.5 million years and for 80 to roughly 180 years, depending on how white and shitty your family was, <laughs> we've been reading. So yeah, 2.5 million years, 80 years. It's just like, yeah, so go ahead, read a book. Suddenly it's profound. Get that one synapse firing and it's profound, right? Yeah, I'm smart, I'm well-read. I'm so smart and well-read that I opened up a bookstore and then what? Bankruptcy. I guess you didn't read chapter 11, did you? You should have shelled out 10 bucks to see Titanic and watch the business model. Your ship sinks. The old man in the sea didn't teach you shit. Seriously, you know what's boring? Fishing. What's more boring than fishing? Putting fishing in print. Yeah. Could you make it worse? Yeah, 180 pages about catching one fish, then give it a Pulitzer. I exercise more neurons figuring out whether the pressure near my asshole is solid or gas. I'm on the bus. Either I ruin everybody else's day or my own day. Everybody's reading the paper, but I'm the real thinker here. I don't know. You know what's better than reading it, though, is igniting it and watching it burn. It's really entertaining. You want to teach kids, burn down the reference section. They will never forget that. You can't even take those books out. You know what's worse than books? Immobile books, crippled books. Crippled books suck. The only reason I'm going into the reference section is to pick up the biggest, fattest encyclopedia I can find and just chuck it at a reader. Hope I hit him in the fucking eye with the corner. That's why. Why, he's a reader. He doesn't fight back. He just slinks away regurgitating something somebody else thought. Oh, I, I turned the other cheek. Well, then fucking get back here. Hit you in your other cheek until your face swells shut and you have to read books on tape. It's like, then what? You hit them with an overhand right, not the uppercut. They can see it coming. The overhand right. Because they're readers, they're always looking down because they have no self-esteem. <laughs> Fuck reading. It's propaganda. It's just bullshit propaganda. It's like you gotta read and you gotta go to college. Really? I gotta go to college? You want me to spend that much money on my unemployment? You <laughs> asshole. I wish I could return my degree for a refund. Just walk into the dean's office and don't work good. I mean, it, it don't work no good, whatever. But you go because people say knowledge is power. Knowledge is priceless. Really? I thought it was $10,000 a semester. How much is the ignorance? Oh yeah, I'll take that, I'll take that. Ooh, and it comes with bliss. Co colleges are advertising now because they're corporations. I support that. I support a lot of evil things like unconsensual colonics and eugenics. Mostly, yeah, mostly because the people who need to be sterilized are full of shit. I'm just saying if, uh, if you're gonna advertise for college, at least put a disclaimer at the end of the advertisement like the side effects on a prescription drug commercial, you know? Like the downside to college. Just be like, you know, whatever. Like, hey, come to ITT Tech. Just be forewarned, individuals graduating early are not necessarily exempt from insurmountable debt. If you are considering an Ivy League alternative, please be a legacy or the whitest black kid we've ever seen. <laughs> Sex in the stacks of the school library is strictly prohibited, but in the case of inevitable penetration, please do it on James Joyce. <laughs> Fornication with faculty is more common than initially perceived, but does not guarantee an automatic A.
28 percent of participants in a double blind study experienced adverse reactions to roommates masturbatory habits when said roommate forgot to leave a tube sock on the door handle signifying alone time <laughs> students with high aspirations in the softer social sciences are at an increased risk for debilitating debt accompanied by long-term unemployment due to a deficiency in marketable skills. <laughs> Lastly, the freshman 15 was found to be accurate. In these cases, doing your own laundry for the first time was not attributed to shrinking your clothes. You're actually getting fatter. And actually, lastly, a word of restraint, wearing a sideways baseball cap to hide your dumb head will not increase your chances to quote unquote, bone a bitch in the bathroom. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> Plus, the name of the college that you go to is everything. The name is everything. You can literally, you can literally put on your resume, I raped a midget at Harvard. They'd be like, oh, I see you went to Harvard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for a short time. <laughs> I don't know.